Dr. Naik, the Christians explained the concept of tr Trinity scientifically by giving the example of water, which can be in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, in the form of ice, water, and vapor. Similarly, one God is a tri triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Is this explanation scientifically correct? Just a comment before I give the answer. We should not tempt God. We should not test God. But here we aren't testing God. We are testing the human being. We should not test God. But here we are testing you. And God promises that any believer who has deadly poison, he will not die. He will be able to speak in foreign tongues. We aren't testing God. We know God is correct. He will see to it that every believer can speak. We are testing you whether you are a believer or not. Coming to the question of the sister. That there are Christians who say that scientifically we can prove the concept of Trinity. Like how water can be in three states, solid, liquid and gas like ice, water and vapor. So similarly, we know God is in three forms, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. How to reply and is this scientifically correct? Scientifically, I do agree, water can be in three forms. Solid, liquid and gas, ice, water and vapor. But scientifically, we also know that the component of water remains the same, H2O, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. The components remain the same, the constituent remains the same, the forms keep on changing, there is no problem. Let's check with the concept of Trinity. Concept of Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Form, let's say form changes. Okay, for sake of argument, we agree. Does the component change? God and Holy Ghost is made of spirit. Human beings are made of flesh and bones. They aren't the same. Human beings require to eat. God doesn't require to eat to survive. They aren't the same. And this is testified by Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 36 to 39. He says that, Behold my hands and feet, handle me and see, for a spirit has no flesh and bones. He says, Behold my hands and feet, handle me and see, for a spirit has no flesh and bone. And he gave his hand, and they saw, and they were overjoyed. And he said that, Do you have any meat to eat? And they gave him broiled fish and a piece of honeycomb. And he ate to prove what? That he was God? To prove that he was not God. He ate. And he flesh and bones. A spirit has got no flesh and bone. This proves that it is scientifically not possible that Father, Son and Holy Ghost, Father, J.S.K. Peace, the Holy Ghost is Almighty God. And the concept of Trinity, the word Trinity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. The word Trinity is not there in the Bible, but it is there in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 171, it says, Don't say Trinity. This has stopped it better for you. Trinity is also there in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 73, which says, لَقَدْ كَفْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ صَالِسُ salasa." They are doing kufr. They are blaspheming. Those who say that Allah is three in one, is a triune God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never said he was God. The concept of Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible. The only verse which is closest to the concept of Trinity is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, which says, For there are three that bear a call in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But if you read the Revised Standard Version, revised by Thaidu scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say this verse, first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse number 7, is an interpolation, is a concoction, is a fabrication. It was thrown out of the Bible. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, he said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Anyone who says not my will, but God's will, he's a Muslim. 
Muslim means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, not my will, but God will. He was a Muslim and he was, alhamdulillah, one of the mightiest messenger of God. We believe, we believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. We believe he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. We respect Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as one of the mightiest messengers of God, but he is not God and he is not a part of the Trinity. Trinity doesn't exist. Quran says, Kul ahad, say he is Allah one and only. Uh, does that, before we have...